Hello my super sisters, my bromance dudes, my rainbow buddies, how you doing? This is my 15 month update for HRT as well as my genital reconstruction surgery update which happened just about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago I had the big surgery. The big surgery. Ah. Um, and now there is no sign that I am any different to any other woman out there. So, anyone can, everyone can stop assuming there's any difference between me and any other woman. The only difference between any of me and my, between me and any of my cis friends is that we have different pasts, which you can say about anyone. So, um, if you want to judge me on my past, you're not going to get my future, honey. So, that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I got the surgery done just about two weeks ago. And um, leading up to it, I wasn't nervous. I know a lot of people get nervous. Some people get like extremely dysphoric. Some people, you know, get cold feet because it's a very big deal. Um, you know, worst case scenario, you die. Second worst case scenario, you lose sensation forever and you can't orgasm, which I would say that might be worst case scenario, to be honest. I'm like, might as well. <laughs> but um, I'm not expecting that to happen. So um, I felt good. I, I have a destiny. I I control my fate. And in my mind, nothing's going to happen negatively. And I'll tell you, that caught me through it. My surgery went amazingly. It went really, really well. Everything looks great. I'm healing fast. Um, every, there's been zero complications. Everything's gone as good as it can go. So super happy, super relieved. Now I'm just um, getting through a recovery, which is not the easiest thing, by the way. Um, not really a tiny surgery. It's kind of a big deal. So there's lots to do to maintain and um, recover, right? So um, I will quickly tell you that when I went on the table, um, they gave me an IV. They gave me an epidural. And after that epidural, I don't remember a thing. I woke up high AF and I was like, D is it done? I was like lost and confused. I couldn't believe I was like, where am I? Is it over? I was asking the nurses if it's over. They're like, yeah, it's done. You're, you're good to go. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. And then I noticed the room was kind of spinning. I was pretty high. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, but yeah, it all happened so fast, like a blink. And um, for the couple days after surgery, as I was recovering in the hospital, I didn't really feel much pain. There was a little bit, but nothing crazy. And then I went to the recovery center where it started to go downhill a little bit as far as pain and, you know, because the painkillers were getting softer and softer, um, the real pain was starting to come out, uh, you know, having dressing and all that stuff down there, um, it was getting tighter and tighter as things were swelling and stuff. So once it got cut off, I kept feeling better and better and it's, but recovery is like up and down and like now I'm back home, I've been back home for like three, three, four days and, um, I've been dilating. <laughs> dilating schedule is crazy. You got to do it four times a day. It takes close to an hour depending on what you have to do. So like 15 minutes of icing down there and then you do about 25 to 30 minutes worth of dilating which is sticking these really hard rods that look like kind of like dildos but they are not flexible at all and they're not comfortable at all. Shoving them up there and holding them for long periods of time. After you're done with that you take them out and you ice again for 15 minutes, then you air dry. Or you go and take a sits bath and then take a shower and then do that another three times during the day. It's a busy, busy schedule and it sucks. It's the worst part about this recovery um, by far. They brought, they give me um, oxycodones to take home and I really don't like the thought of doing those. So I've gotten off of those and I've switched it for like Advil liquid gels and Tylenol extra strength. Um, not as effective for pain, but also I'm not getting physically addicted to a narcotic. So that's a good thing. Big time. And I'm just, it's up and down. Mornings are probably the worst because it's the longest I go without medication and I'm sitting there not doing anything and I wake up, there's more pain. And, you know, dilating after a long sleep is harder. Everything's kind of tighter and stuff and swollen and it's not easy. It's not easy, but, um, my surgery and the recovery has been easier than a lot of other people's and it's, it's gone very well. And I think it has to do with my mind state. I've been very calm and, um, at peace with everything that's happening and very confident. And I just know that everything's going to work out. So it's been good. Um, I'm really happy. 
I'm really, really happy. On the drive home, I cried a bunch because I was just like, wow, here, I did it. You know, the me that I've imagined all my life is here. It's finally here. There is nothing on me that says I am any different to any other woman. And that is a nice feeling. Yeah. So, you know, I don't need to have that label, that transgender label. And, you know, in the next year or so, I don't plan to do these videos anymore. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to have more topics to speak about anyways. I'll have, you know, completed my transition. And I do plan to go stealth online. I won't get rid of my YouTube channel, but I don't plan to add to it. Um, I, I'm already stealth um, in real life. I don't tell people. The only way they know is when I ask, add them to Facebook and they find out through Facebook and video posts. I don't even tell them. I don't tell people. There's no reason I should. People don't know because when you look at me, do you think, do you think guy? No, you don't. So why would I put myself out like that? There's no reason to. I'm not going to go around like, I'm transgender and proud. No. I am smart. I am funny. I am fun. And I am proud. I am a proud bartender. I'm a proud mother. I am a proud, um, you know, YouTube creator. I'm not a proud transgender. That just to me makes no sense. So I don't go around telling people that and there's no reason I should. And I, I don't plan to ever tell people about it. Um, you know, if, if people find out by becoming very, very close to me, then that's how they find out. I will always tell guys it's the right thing to do. Unfortunately, um, you know, if I were to get intimate with a guy anyways, they're going to want to know about my past. And I'm not going to be like, oh, my past only started two years ago or three years ago. Um, anything before that is irrelevant. They're going to be like, huh? You know? So <laughs> I can't do that, um, unfortunately. But yeah, I don't plan to be all out there about being transgender for very long. Um, and I do have a consultation company that I just started. So if you want consultation on um, successful transition and successful life in general, get at me and I'll give you a link and everything. And I will still run that. But everything to do online with being transgender will be transferred to my Sosera page. My personal Facebook will be for per people I personally know and have relationships with. I don't want people in, commenting on something. Like today, someone commented um, because last night I made a status where I was craving a sweets. And I was like, mad treats craving. And I was talking about I wanted chocolate and potato chips and pastries and cake and ice cream. All this stuff. Someone comments, oh, back on the estrogen? I don't want to see that anymore after you know, a year from now. Right now it's fine. It's, you know, I've been talking a lot about my surgery and all that stuff and I get it. It's all good. But a year from now, I don't want that. I don't want to see that. I don't want to, I don't want any, any reminder of transgender anything. It's, it's irrelevant to my life. It's been 15 months on HRT and I'm very happy with everything. My skin has changed a lot. Um, it's very, it's so much lighter. I used to have like an olive type of skin. It's very lighter. It's softer. Um, my face is softened up and I'm not even just talking about the um, the facial feminization surgery because I only had it in a certain area. The rest of my face um, has been a little puffier. It's softer. Um, you know, I already had decent sized boobs before I got implants. So that, you know, that's HRT. Um, muscle mass has gone down a lot. Like I used to have pipes and these are not pipes anymore. Just my life is good. I'm happy. I'm confident. Very emotional. That was that kicked in like you know two months after I starting HRT. So that's not a huge change or anything. But you can probably tell looking at the progress of you know my journey that I'm here. I made it. Um, HRT's done a lot for me, and I will be forever grateful for <laughs> medical science for having that. And I'm so much happier than I used to be. So much happier. It's like not even a com you not even a comparison. You can't compare old ghost to me now. So that's about it. Uh, uh, body hair has thinned greatly. I used to have a very hairy chest and it's, there's no hair there. Everything's been going really, really well. So that's about it. Um, I hope anyone who's, you know, considering getting on HRT or doing this surgery, you know, looks into it. And if you have any questions, talk to me. It's been the greatest, um, decision of my life. I feel amazing right now. It's it's awesome. And you know what's funny is that all of this feels so natural and organic. I don't look in the mirror and go, whoa, it's so different. That old thing is gone. The thingy is gone. I look at it and I don't even look at it for longer than a, you know, a quick glance because it's like it just feels natural. It's not like I'm staring at it like, oh my goodness, whoa. It feels like I've had it all my life. 
which might sound weird to you, me being 29 and saying that, but if it does, because in my mind, that's always who I was. Um, so it feels right. It just feels right. It feels natural. It's not like a big deal to me, honestly. So anyways, that's about all I have to say about that. If you like hearing from me and you want more of the Spire, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, like my video, and um, as always, I will always comment or I was always resp rep I will always reply to your comments and uh, keep dropping out these awesome videos for you guys to keep track. And uh, I love you guys. I'm